In the beginning, there were bubble charts, like this risk versus reward example. An important addition to the risk reward chart is the pipeline chart, which shows each initiative across the development lifecycle for a series of segments or divisions. But pipeline charts with too many segments are tough to read. Bullseye charts make it easy to communicate product pipelines in competitive landscapes when there are many segments and even more products or initiatives. The radial axis provides maximum room for all segment labels around the chart, even if they are wordy. Bullseye charts have two axes, a radial axis of concentric rings and an angular axis of arcs around the circumference. Both axes are category axes, including discrete fields like phase or segment, and bucketed numeric fields like revenue deciles or cost quintiles. The radial axis usually represents a development life cycle, like stages or phases, with the start phase outermost and the final phase at or near the chart center. Check the Use Center checkbox to populate the bullseye center with items from the radial field's final option. The arc axis can represent any field that divides up the items, such as market segment, brand, or region. Radial and arc elements are sorted just as in the table below the bullseye. To change the sort order, subtotal the table by the currently selected field for an axis and sort the subtotal table by the desired field. For example, with the arcs dropdown set to disease, you could subtotal by disease and then sort by therapy area to group the diseases by therapy area around the bullseye. You can annotate one or more items on your bullseye with the field specified by the labels dropdown. Check the name checkbox to annotate all items. To toggle annotation for one or more items, Hold down the control key and click on an individual bubble, arc label, radial label, or legend label. To add contrast to the radial axis categories, add color to the rings by checking the circles checkbox. The wedges checkbox colors the arcs. It can be used in combination with the circles coloring or on its own. Toggle the coloring of any individual arc by double-clicking its label. It can be tough to label items when they are tightly packed within an arc segment. Use the Resize Arcs checkbox to size the arcs based on their contents and spread out items as much as possible. You can always fine-tune the position of your labels. To make a perfectly circular bullseye, check the Lock checkbox. Arc labels can overlap when there are lots of arc categories. To reduce that label overlap, rotate the bullseye by dragging an arc label to a new position. Wordy arc labels fit best near the bullseye's equator. Similarly, you can also drag the ring labels to a less crowded place on the bullseye. Next time a bubble chart seems too crowded, consider a bullseye to show your set of initiatives or your competitive landscape. Thanks for watching.